All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're visiting our 3D printed car again. Uh, this time I have all the insides taken out of it. It's all plugged in, plugged up to two batteries right here for the charging for the Intel Galileo or the Intel Edison. Sorry about that. With the seed breakout board and I have all my sensors set up right here. So I'll show you how those are working and I have everything connected online to the Intel or to the AT&T M2X server. So it's storing all of my data on the web and showing some analytics for it. Right now I just have the temperature going. It looks like it's fluxing a lot, but it's really not. That's just a couple degrees to show you what it's really on. It keeps going back and forth between oh around uh, 75 and 80. So it's fairly accurate, about 75, 80 degrees, uh, five degrees. Um, eh. It's all right, off by five degrees, let's say. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how it's working. Here's the sonic ping sensor, so when someone gets too close, it'll show on the LOL screen right there, back up, too close. And that's being triggered right here, turning that on. And then I'm gonna show you how all the sensors and everything work right here in just a moment. Uh, first off, let's see. I'll start with the water sensor. So if there's water detected, it'll show up on the M2X server. Let me set it up right there, water sensor. Right now it's showing zero for the water. And that's for the water sensor. Zero means there's no water detected. Um, just licked my finger and I'm gonna get that wet right there. In just a moment, it should show up one. There we go, shows up one, showing that water's detected. And so that way we know the water sensor's working. Uh, we also have the alcohol sensor right here. Since so if there's alcohol in the vicinity, we go and uh, open that on the M2X. Uh, there we go, there's no alcohol showing in the vicinity. It's all zero going across the graph which is good, um, at least that's working. Um, let's see, what else do we have going? We have our fire sensor right here. This will sense flames. Just a sec, let me show you what that's putting out on the M2X. All right, since there's no flames, this is the fire sensor. It's showing zero. So what I'm gonna do, one sec. Let me grab uh, something to demonstrate. All right, so I grabbed a lighter and that's right here. That should be setting off the flame sensor. And on the M2X, you should see ones appearing. Yep, there's a one right there showing that there was flame detected. And then what else? Uh, temperature sensor that's obviously working and what I have over here is I have it showing in Celsius and in Fahrenheit that's Fahrenheit and then that was Celsius it's uh, all of within five degrees so it's not too bad I have our distance sensor which is the sonic ping that's what's going off uh, triggering the LOL shield right here so when someone gets too close, it triggers that to turn on. And it sends the signals over here, which is being graphed, showing how close people are getting to you, which would be great for uh, analyzing data on how close people are driving to you. And I also have a collision sensor on there. Um, it's acting a little odd right now. I'll be going through and fixing that later. It is uh, one of the seeds collision sensors. Um, I think it might be something in the code. I'm not sure yet. I'll go back and double check. It likes to start and stop working at times. But anyways, that's what the project is right now. That's for the Intel Edison and that's the 3D printed car. Thank you for watching and have a great day.